On today's episode of Days of Our Lives, Leo intrudes on Gwen and Dimitri's honeymoon as Channel, Johnny, and Talia struggle with their emotions. Abe tries taking back his job. While Dimitri is preoccupied messaging Leo, Gwen is bemoaning the lack of ice outside in Iceland despite the fact that it is June. As he considers Leo, Gwen asks if he wants to do something else, like have a little fun by themselves. She lays out their plan and believes they should get going. She needs to see the sights, Dimitri quickly reminds her, before he sends her on her way. Leo, dressed for the frigid, knocks on the door a short while later. He enters quickly and Dimitri begins kissing him, then ponders his clothing choice. Leo, it's August. Then he tries to get Leo out before Gwen returns, and she does. She thought she heard him chatting to someone, but Dimitri convincingly claims that he was just practicing his Icelandic. He refuses to leave with her when she tries to do so, because he claims to be experiencing issues as a result of consuming poor Icelandic yogurt. No way. No. I am your spouse. Your faithful spouse. Even on their honeymoon, she won't leave his side. While Dimitri rants about shoving her out the door, Leo shakes his head in the restroom. Knowing she was having fun would lift his mood. Leo rolls his eyes, as one might expect. I suppose I'll see you later because you've plainly given me no other options. After giving him a kiss, she gets her suitcase and reluctantly leaves. The moment she leaves, Leo rushes out of the restroom and demands to be ravaged. At Polina's, Channel is reflecting and tells her mother that Talia claimed to have affection for her. Channel is convinced that Paulina's sentiments are genuine, despite Paulina's doubts. Paulina worries how Chanel feels about Talia but would prefer that she be with someone who hasn't wounded her like Talia. I'm not entirely sure. It's challenging. Although she felt her heart skip a beat, she isn't yet ready to trust Talia. Channel asks her mother how she is handling Abe, to which Paulina advises her to take her time. Paulina is trying to be patient and wait, but she is impatient for him to return. When Kayla visits Marlena's office, she confides that she doesn't believe A.B. is prepared to resume his duties as mayor. Marlena is astounded as well. Being mayor is extremely demanding, and the press will eat him alive. The sooner he returns, the more he's going to get burned. Abe is getting ready for his first press conference as mayor back at Steve and Kayla's. He intends to interrupt the news conference of Deputy Mayor Rawling and declare his demotion. Abe softly but firmly asserts that whatever the specifics of their connection, he is reasonably certain that it does not include seeking Steve's consent. Steve is unsure if this is a wise move. Fair enough, but Steve and Kayla respectfully believe it's too soon to start working again. I'm sorry to say that, but I believe you're going to fail. Abe is picked up by Polina to go to the news conference. Abe gets irritated and tells Steve to mind his own business when Steve tries to emphasize that he is not ready. Polina, at least, is ecstatic. While Abe slowly gets up on his own and heads out, Steve wishes him luck, but he can't hide the worry on his face. In anticipation of announcing his strategy for the remainder of his term, acting Mayor Rawlings is hosting a press conference. Polina's arm is held up by Abe, who enters and says, that won't be necessary, Deputy Mayor Rawlings. While praising Abe, the upstart claims that he ought to be sleeping. No, says Abe, my first official act will be to reopen my stepdaughter's bakery. He's going back to being mayor, he says. After the poisoning, Rawlings maintains that he had every right to close the bakery. Abe calms Polina down and demands the resignation of the interim mayor after she snaps at him. For the sake of the town, he refuses to stand down, and Abe maintains that he is in sufficient health. Abe's decision to choose Rafe as commissioner, according to Rawlings, was problematic even before his mental impairment. Paulina retorts angrily, and he responds by reminding everyone of her plan to get rid of the square, and by asserting that she took aid from his sick bed to carry out her will at this time. As the two exchange glares, Abe storms over and announces that he is totally recovered. Rawlings then lets the press loose on him. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, Daily Bulletin News, and stay with us.